Hey everyone, welcome to Monday Night Live. I'm April Ann, Diamond Ambassador, and I'm gonna go ahead right away and share my screen. And y'all know that we are talking about the cold market tonight. And what am I what I'm hoping y'all is that this won't be as daunting. Because I'm hearing from a lot of y'all that it tends to be a bit scary, right? Just the unknown. So let me get this started. All right. Let's go to the next slide. All right. So the very first thing I wanted to share with y'all is a lot of times I will hear people say, well, I've ran out of people. This is the end of the road. This is life as we know it. I can't move any further. I have no one else to talk to, right? And so what I want to ask y'all tonight is what is this excuse costing you? Is this holding you back from moving forward in your team? Is this costing your paycheck to be less than you want it to be? Is this causing you not to be able to resign from your job yet? So tonight, what I want to do is share with y'all when you should be in your cold market, what it looks like, how we can do it genuinely, and we're going to move on from there. So the first thing I want to say is, have you really talked to everyone you know in your warm market? Now, this could be anyone from your kids' teachers. This could be the neighbor down the street that you have some rapport, you wave to each other, you say hi once in a while, but you just haven't shared Plexus yet. Y'all, this could even be your post man or woman, right? They're in your warm network. You've said hi to them. Maybe you thank them for your mail, okay? So make sure that you have truly talked to every single person. And I'll give you a little tip about that here in a little bit. And if you truly have, y'all, if you said I've hit all the warm market people, then guess what? It is time to tackle the cold market. So again, when do you reach that cold market? Well, as soon as you've reached out to every single person you've built rapport with, maybe you know face-to-face, -face, maybe it's your coworkers, whoever it is, okay? So what I want you to do, if you're on here tonight and you're like, I think I've met my cold marketer, I think I've reached that limit, go ahead, go through your Facebook friends and sort them oldest to newest. And from there, friends, we are going to go through every single person <laughs> and we are not going to skip anyone, right? If you have some rapport there, you have some connections going, it's time that you bridge that gap and you connect with them, right? It's not time to say, oh, she doesn't need plexus or I don't know about her. She looks great. She's not struggling. Y'all, we think of excuses as to why we don't need to reach out to people. And usually those are the people who are going to help you move the fastest on your team, or they're going to be your happy product users. So make sure you are giving everyone the chance to hear about Plexus. Now, I wanted to just share a few facts before we jump into the nitty gritty, but y'all, you really do need to develop the skill of adding value and connecting with people not just for cold market, it is gonna be really essential for your cold market, but your warm market too. Start figuring out how you can genuinely connect with people, love on people, add value to them. Now, a lot of times I'll hear people say, yes, I can't wait to get to the cold market. I am no longer gonna face rejection. See you later rejection. I don't know any of these people. And the truth of the matter is y'all, you get to know these people as if they're your friends, as if if you guys were in public together, you could strike up a conversation. So guess what? Those people are going to be your new warm market. And I'm sorry to tell y'all, but you are going to face rejection in both markets. And a lot of times when I see people facing rejection, it's because they're trying to convince. They're trying to beg people. They're trying to string them along when they may not be even open. So little note, little FYI, you're going to face rejection, completely normal. And then the last thing I wanted to share before we jump in is success in your business, y'all, is a numbers game. And it's gonna be the same way with your cold market. And usually you have to switch those numbers. 
If you're doing five messages a day, maybe new contacts, follow-ups, maybe it's working great for your warm market. Maybe you're going to have to double that, right, to get the same results. And that's okay. It's literally a numbers game. And that's where we're going to pair consistency with the right skills and taking the action. And that's where we're going to get the true team growth. All right. So what exactly is a cold network or cold market? Well, it's basically an endless amount of people, y'all, that can be potential customers that you have yet to connect with. So you don't know them, right? And your goal is to help your cold market become your warm market. So we have that consistent cycle, y'all. It's not where you have a warm market and you have a cold market. They are not separate. It's literally where you have your warm market of people, your cold market, and people keep cycling over into your warm market. So it needs to be this continuous process. It should not be, oh crap, ran out of the warm market. Shoot, got to warm up these people, right? It needs to be continuous, and I'll share more with y'all about that tonight. So basically, you want people to buy into you before they're going to buy into Plexus, before you can pitch them. So that is going to be critical when you are working with your cold market. So what we're doing y'all is connecting with people we don't yet know, okay? So we're gonna build the rapport. We're gonna ask some good questions. We're gonna help them to like us, to trust us, maybe even love us, right? And then you're gonna share a solution with them. You're just seeing if they're open. It's as simple as that, y'all. And now we're going to start with that stranger, right? And I like to call them a long lost friend. For some reason, if you call them a stranger, it's a little bit nerve wracking, right? Talking to a stranger. But if you can think of them as a long lost friend who maybe you lost touch a few years ago and you're trying to figure out, hmm, how can I reconnect with them? So you're going to start with that stranger or long lost friend. You're going to turn them into an acquaintance. Y'all, I practiced that word a lot today. <laughs> I kept on messing it up, but I said it right. And you're basically going to build rapport, add value to them. There it is again, the build rapport, add value that goes hand in hand. Hey, Y'all, if you're unmuted, can you mute for me? I hear someone unmuted. There we go. Thank you, Britt. Um, then from there, y'all, you're going to work on getting to know them, more connection. And then they're going to buy into you if you are doing it the right way. And then we're going to show them, hey, there's a solution. Let's figure out how this can help your pain points. So it's literally this flow. Now, when we break it down like this, it seems like a lot. It's like, oh my goodness, this is overwhelming but I'm telling you, it's not a lot. We're gonna break it down even further and it's just gonna be second nature to y'all. The thing is y'all, a lot of you are already doing a, a, many of these steps. It's just a couple added steps at the beginning and mostly that's just the rapport and connection piece, which is gonna be critical. So why the cold market? Why do we need to tap into it? Well, you're going to eventually run out of people. If you haven't ran up people who are in that warm market, maybe you've met them face to face, you're going to run out. So it's important that we tap into that market of people. Also, you literally have access to the world. And y'all, we only have 2% of the population that has heard of Plexus. So if you think about it, since we're an amazing company and we're going to be a legacy company, guess what that means? That means we're going to be opening up different countries. So it's great that we can tap into these different markets of people and endless amounts of people. The next one is, y'all, is you can easily connect with like-minded people, right? You can figure out who do I want to connect with? Who do I not want to connect with? Now, we know everyone needs Plexus, right? All the people need Plexus. But then from there, business-wise, you can really pick and choose who you want to build a business with. Um, also, I was calculating to see y'all, 80% of my current business builders are from my cold market. 
these are people I have never met face to face before. Never ever, which is incredible. Two that I'm building with right now I've met. One is my sister, y'all know her. The other y'all is a client's mother <laughs> that I met in Florida. So it's just really neat how these connections happen, but you might just find your closest friends when you tap into that cold market. Also y'all, it can really speed up the process of recruiting. And here's why. If when you were in your warm market, maybe you were just getting started and maybe you burnt them all out because you were puking plexus, you are being super salesy, maybe you were doing a lot of withdrawing, right? You weren't adding value on your page. Well, guess what? You can start fresh with this new group of people and start figuring out how can I do this the very best way. So again, it allows you to be choosy. It allows you to pick who you're working with. And again, it gives you a fresh start. It's okay if you didn't do some things the right way in your first initial warm market. We can analyze, make some changes, figure out what was working, what isn't working, and what you need to do moving forward. So this is really important, y'all but having proper expectations going into the cold market. It's not gonna be the same thing as your warm market. Now it will be at some point because we'll get them filtered over, but it takes a bit of time. So again, how much value you're adding on your page or to the person is it gonna depend on your response rates. So I have been tracking my response rates for y'all since I knew I was doing this cold market call and I have about a 67 response rate after initial just connection messages. Y'all, 67% of people are interested in talking to me. And so it's really important that you are adding that value and that you are connecting with people in the right way. And rule of thumb is y'all, is you typically, like I said before, you're gonna need to double the amount of cold market messages in order to get that same response of messages that you were in your very warm market. And again, it's very, very normal, unless you're adding a ton of value and connecting with people. So if you're thinking right now, okay, this all sounds super easy. What's the catch? Why am I so caught up on this whole cold market thing when it's almost the same exact thing as you've been doing? Well, guess what friends? It could be between your ears right? It could be this thing that you're saying, yeah, the cold market is just for those extroverts, those blues like April who like to talk, right? Or maybe you're, you're thinking too much about it. You're over there, you're green and you're analyzing and you're saying, ah, oh, what I'm doing, I don't know what's working, what's not versus taking action. Or maybe you're telling yourself, y'all, I've heard this one time and time again. Ooh, I just can't do this cold market thing. I'm not being genuine. Y'all, if you're sending the messages and you're crafting them for each person, how is that not being genuine, right? You are the person in charge of your own messages, messages, messages. That sounded weird. Um, Y'all, another one is, oh, yep, they'll just reach out to me. I'm going to keep adding value. I'm going to keep showing up. And when they're ready to hear about Plexus, they will be in my inbox. Y'all, I wish that were to happen, right? Sometimes you get lucky and people do say, hey, what's that pink thing you're drinking? Or, hey, what was that post you put up the other day? But majority of times, y'all, you have to be the one to get in their inbox and to transition from connecting and building rapport into Plexus. It is not always this perfect, smooth transition, right? And y'all, if you're over there feeling like, well, gosh, I have an agenda, you should be switching that mindset and saying, I have a gift. I have a gift to offer people. I think about how different my life would look, y'all, if my friend Tina did not reach out to me because I looked like I was doing fine. I looked like I loved being a speech therapist, which I did, but I was longing to be home with my son. And y'all, today I literally had a deja vu moment because I was sitting in a coffee house. It was a Monday morning. I was sipping my coffee. My son was playing. My other son was at school. I was just working my business, kicking back. And I was like, holy cow, these Mondays are so different. 
So y'all, if you're over there saying, gosh, I feel like I have an agenda, you have a gift. That's what you have. You have to start telling yourself that. Uh, maybe you're thinking, uh, I have so many reasons why I shouldn't reach out to these people, right? You're all up in your head, in your thoughts. Or maybe you're circling around with the same 200 people saying at some point they'll join me. I'm just going to keep cycling with Sarah and Emily and Caitlin and Brittany. And at some point, someone's going to join me versus tapping into all those other people that they be open and ready. And then the last one that might be, you know, if the cold market is in between your ears, y'all, is if you feel like you have to reinvent the wheel. That is not true. I'm going to show you how you can genuinely reach out to people, connect, and bring up plexus. There is no reinventing the wheel. The only difference, y'all, is that connection piece, the rapport, the, build, the building and bringing up the value on your page. That is it, my friends. And then from there, the connection starts. The new friendships start. So literally, y'all, you are holding yourself back from helping so many people, from making extra money, from whatever your why is. You are literally holding yourself back if you are not tapping into the cold market. And that goes hand in hand, y'all. Maybe you're over there and you did tap into your cold market, but maybe you're over there and you don't have a confident posture. Maybe you're a bit nervous or you have wavering in your voice. Y'all, people can see that. And a lot of times, y'all, that goes hand in hand with your belief. Do you tr truly believe this can be something big for your friends? That this can bring you home from work? Maybe it's your belief you have to work on, right? But having that confidence, that posture, that's going to bleed to people. And they're going to want to hear what you have to say. So it's way, way, way more important how you say things versus what you're saying. So don't be over there trying to reinvent the wheel. It's okay. It's more important how you say it. And that's with your confident posture. And y'all, we have to feel forward, right? I had to start somewhere with the cold market. Yes, it was a bit scary at first. And then I just started to do it. And I was like, okay, I can do this. Oh, this is exciting. I just connected with so-and-so. Oh, cool. We could be really good friends. So the more you do it, the more comfortable you will get. So let's talk quickly with just identifying who you want to connect with. Well, there's always the suggested friends, right? You go through that little tab. You can figure out, I always say, okay, can I easily connect with this person? Do I have something in common with them? Can I draw the line between April and so-and-so, right? And connect. Can you genuinely strike up a conversation? Uh, the next one, y'all, there's tons of Facebook groups or there's groups you can join. Like I just joined swimming lessons with my son. And y'all, part of the reason I told Christina was I need a local team and I want a local team. And so I'm starting to just disperse myself. I don't know if that's the right word, but into the community and trying to just be there to connect in person with mamas. So join some groups physically or on Facebook, figure out where you fit and where you can add value. And then also know who are you looking for? Again, remember everyone needs the products, but then from there, business people, who are you looking for? Start at their profile picture, then look at their page. Could we be friends? That's literally what I ask myself. Do I have something in common with her? And then I go ahead and I send that from request. And y'all, it's a time thing, right? Not everyone's gonna accept your friend request. So that's why you need to be adding friends on a daily basis to keep that funnel full. And it is so important, y'all, to prospect up. Connect with people who are more successful than you in life. Those people who literally make you shake when you send that message or you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm about to throw up because you decided you'd do a call with someone that you feel like they're more successful than you. Y'all, it is so, so very important to prospect up. All right, so let's talk about, I think I have six points. Yes, six points for y'all. 
and then I have some examples. But here we go. Actually, the steps of bridging the gap from cold to warm. The very first one, I've been saying it over and over and over again. Build rapport. <laughs> Build rapport. Do not discuss the products or business in people's inboxes before you've connected with them, right? Don't feel like you have to connect with them and pitch right away, pitch Plexus, or gosh, how can I bring up Plexus right now? Connect first, just start there, y'all. It is as simple as that, all right? The next step, y'all, is going to be go and comment. How simple, right? It's so basic. Go comment on their page show up on their page, help them to say, huh, who's this April girl? What's she all about? And y'all ask genuine questions. And if you're going to compliment, make sure it's genuine, right? A lot of times I'll see, um, maybe it's boy mamas and they have their son in something super cute. And I'm like, oh my goodness, where'd you get that for your son? My kiddo would look cute in it. You know, just little things where they're like, oh, she commented on my page or she asked a question, you know, just to show that you care about them. Or it could be something like, you know, relating with them, like, oh my goodness, mama, I've been there, hang in there or praying for you, just little things. So building that rapport, y'all, go comment. Um, you can even watch their stories, right? And how do you know when rapport is, is built? People ask that all the time. Well, how do I know if they're commenting back to you right? If maybe they're on your page liking stuff or they're in your stories, that rapport has been built, which is great. And some people, it takes seconds. <laughs> some people I'll comment and they're already all over my stuff. And some people it takes several months. And so it just depends person to person. Okay. So then from there, we're going to connect and build that relationship, build that trust, make the conversation about them. And I'm going to have some examples here in a second, y'all. But connection is going to be the, the key. If you hear anything tonight, connection, 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 right? You must stand out on their page. Also, like I said, watch their things. And the relationship is going to happen. You're going to build that trust. You're going to show them how you guys can be good friends. But don't just expect Plexus to come up. Don't feel like, well, crap, we're only talking about our kids. How is Plexus going to come up? Guess what? You're going to boldly bring it up and that's okay. And know too, y'all, the first few exchanges are just back and forth, like a normal conversation. Maybe you're talking about your jobs. Um, maybe you're talking about the kids. Maybe you're talking about the weather. Y'all, sometimes I talk about the weather. Maybe you're talking about what you're going to do on the weekend. Just little genuine conversations. And y'all... Hear me out. The conversation needs to be about them, 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 right? It's okay to share a little bit about you, but at the end of the day, people want to talk about themselves. All right, number four, continue adding that value even after you guys have connected. Don't stop commenting on their stuff. Don't stop posting on your page added value, right? Because now you've just started that relationship it's like when you meet that friend, right? You don't just all of a sudden shut down the conversation. There's still things happening. There's still conversation. So make sure that, that you're continuing to comment, um, love on them, all those things. Show them that you're still there. All right, here it comes, y'all. This is where we reach out via messenger, right? And this is where we get into Plexus conversations. And it's really important that we do. We don't wanna just hope that Plexus is gonna come up or maybe if I let it sit a few more weeks and she sees a post, she reaches out. No, 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 that's not what we do. So the more you do it y'all, the more you're gonna get comfortable. The goal is to connect, get into conversation, see if they're open to hearing more. That is it. Don't psych yourself out or scare yourself when it comes to the cold market. All right, here we go. So here's an example of a message I'm sending out to someone I have never messaged before, 
And literally y'all, all I'm doing is trying to strike up conversation. So I'm saying, hi, Amanda, hope you're having a great week so far. I'm not sure we've had a chance to connect yet. So wanted to say hi. I'm an Air Force wife, boy mama times two, speech therapist by trade, and I love connecting with others. I see you're a mama too. How old are your girls? Y'all, nothing about that is not genuine, right? I went to her page. I figured out, oh, she's a girl mama. Hmm, let's connect. I'm going to introduce myself a bit. That's it, right? Didn't put anything about plexus. Didn't put too much about myself, right? And then ended with a question. All right, let's look at another one. Hi, Jenna. Happy Thursday. Do y'all have any weekend plans with your family? We hope to head to the beach to ride bikes. Thanks so much. So letting them know, hey, the rapport has been built. Thanks so much for checking out my stories the other day. I'm not sure we've connected yet. How long have you lived in Virginia? Okay, so I clearly went to her page. I know she lives in the same state as me. We've been here two and a half years. So letting her know like, hey, we're here too. Just trying to connect. And y'all, it's gonna be different person to person. It just really depends. But typically my go-to are kids <laughs> or where they live. It's just the easiest for me to connect that way. All right, next one. Hi, Jenna. Oh, we have another Jenna, I guess. Hi, Jenna, I hope you're having a good Thursday. Wanted to say thanks so much for accepting my friend request. I saw we have over 80 mutual friends. It looks like y'all like to travel. Where have you been? Again, genuine, no agenda. We are just connecting, trying to get a little bit of back and forth. So this is where we need to bring up plexus, right? And y'all, I'm not saying it won't always or it won't always come up. Sometimes it does. And usually when I see it come up is if I ask someone, I say, hey, what do you do? Or I see you work outside the house. What do you do? Usually they'll say, you know, oh, I'm a teacher. What about you? Well, guess what? That just opened the door wide open for me to go into Plexus and the opportunity. But if it doesn't come up, y'all, that's where you have to be bold and you have to bring it up. And typically what I'll do is if we've built that rapport, we went back and forth a couple of times, I give it like five or six days and then I'm in their inbox and I'm reaching out specifically about Plexus. Now it might differ person to person. Maybe some people do seven to eight days. I usually do around five to six and get a good response rate with um, that timeline. So you really have to kind of play around with things y'all. And again, depends person to person. So this is what you could say to bring up Plexus. You could say, hi, Brittany, I hope you're having a great start to your week. Did y'all do anything fun over the weekend? This may or may not be for you, but with swimsuit season coming up and how so many people are prioritizing their gut health and wanting to feel their very best every day, I thought I'd send you a message and see if you're open to checking out the info on the plant-based products I've been using for almost three years and loving. I know you're a busy mama like me, so I thought this could help you too. If I sent some information your way, would you check it out? Y'all, that is a message I used this weekend and had my inbox flooded by, sure, I'll check it out, or that sounds great. I would love to. Just great, great, great responses with this message. Nothing salesy, not too long. There aren't specific ailments that you know the products have helped me with. It's literally just, hey, I've been doing this thing for three years. Maybe it can help you too, right? Um, next one. Hey, Mallory, happy Saturday. What do y'all have planned this weekend? I'm not sure if you see my post about the plant-based products I've been loving the past three years. And with summer, again, just around the corner and everybody concerned about their health, maybe this could benefit you too. I'd love to send some info your way if you're open to taking a look. Now, I can't take the credit completely for this message. Michelle Stuchel and I actually put this together. Um, but again, really good responses from this message. Shared it with my team. So y'all, it's not always about um, how you do it or what you say. It's about showing up in their inbox, right? And if they're open, they're going to say, yeah, send it my way. I think I have one more. Hey, Hillary, happy Tuesday. Is your week starting off good? I think that's supposed to be well. I know we haven't had the chance to connect yet, but I'd love to tell you about the plant-based products I've been using for over 2.5 years, if you're open to it. 
I'm sure you probably see my posts about my beloved pink drink. The products have increased my energy, provided me with healthy gut flora, decreased my brain fog, zapped my sugar cravings, and helped to balance my mood. If I send some info your way, would you look at it? So that one gets a little bit more into, hey, she might be struggling with these things. So you literally can see like if she's complaining about energy or anxiety, you know, fig figure out what they're struggling with if you can or watch their pages. And if they're bringing it up, then you can just switch it out, edit it person to person. So also how you can follow up with people is you can send an invite. You can say, hey, I loved our conversation we had on Monday. I'm not sure if this, this may or may not be for you, but hey, we have this, this um, event coming up Thursday night and then selling the event, see if they're open to the event, right? And then from there, y'all, it's just the same thing as your warm market. You're continuing to follow up. You're alternating. Maybe you're connecting once in a while. Maybe you're, um, you know, specifically reaching out with business or products. So it's the same thing. The very first steps, y'all, are the only different parts, and that's really warming them up, having them buy into you and what you have to offer. So remembering to keep that funnel full, y'all, is going to be important. So expanding that network, because y'all, we're never going to stop reaching out in our cold market. We're always going to have new people who we can talk to. So what you have to do is just keep going with the cold market. Y'all just keep going, keep adding that value. That's gonna help. Keep connecting with people and keep sharing the solution. And y'all, that's all I have tonight on the cold market. So I'm gonna stop the share and stop the recording.